Dapper Jack is killing me in one thing. Terry Johnson, of course, from the Corkles, joins us for another fun experiment. You're bringing in paint, and we wear the yes. jacket because we get messy. That's and you right. told me already I'm about to get You're, I'm about to get dirty. That's right. You're probably going to get messy okay. with the paint. All right. I love this activity, Rob. This ties in our Colorful Caroline book with mixing colors. But this is a great time of year with the fall to be talking about why the leaves are changing, uh, the process of photosynthesis, and it's just a great time to be mixing colors and talking about that. So we're going to do some magnet painting today. So you Got have a, a strong magnet, mm -hmm. and in my pocket, I have a magnetic marble. And I would like for you to take your magnetic marbles and just put one in each color paint. Now okay. you have red and blue paint, so put one in your red paint and one in your blue. Uh, yellow and blue. I mean yellow and blue. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. And I have red and blue. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> And then just kind of take your spoon and mix that up. Okay. You probably need another spoon for it so you're not mixing colors. Now this you're getting, talking about magnets, you're getting a little art in and you're getting your color mixing in. So you're getting a lot of science in okay. just this one activity. Now just take your spoon mm -hmm. and drop your magnetic ball on your aluminum cookie sheet. And of course, we have it kind of on a stand with cups. With lots of paint or a little bit of paint? Uh, just, it's however you want to do okay. it because you're going to be spreading it around. All right, lots of paint. Lots of paint for you. Put the Now, take your strong magnet. Uh -huh. I'll wait for you here. And put it underneath your cookie sheet. Okay. And let's see what happens. Now we know that magnets have a magnetic field and you're going to watch your uh, magnet move around and you're mixing the colors as you're doing that so the children can be talking about the north and south poles of magnets, the magnetic field, while they're also talking about primary, secondary colors. Blue and yellow make green, of yellow course, make and guess green, what we're making. Red and blue Ooh. make purple, and mm -hmm. of course they can do some abstract art, they can do, you can do all letter. the colors. Hi, but Terry. This, <laughs> this is a great way, and then to tie it in to your life science with the fall leaves and the process that the leaves are going through right mm -hmm. now. You have a giant science lesson right outside your door this time of yeah. year in Missouri because it's just beautiful. Uh -huh. So that's one activity. The kids absolutely love this. Yeah, it's fun. And I like this. And you're getting it. Yeah, and you can get your whole paper covered. You can do it with all the colors. You can do mm -hmm. it with the complementary colors. Uh, however you need to do it. I'm okay, we have one minute that. left, so okay. I'll share. Well, another activity that the kids think I'm going to really sign this fun. again and auction it off later just so you know. We like we have been talking in my classes, kind of taking it a step further and talking about complementary colors. So we know that complementary colors are colors that are opposite on the color wheel. So we've been making layered um, sand art. Mm -hmm. So why don't you take yours and let's do a complementary okay. cylinder here and put a little red. Start yours off with some red okay. on the bottom and we may not get all the way through but we okay. can kind of show them. Red how. and then. And then your complementary color of red are the other two primary colors mixed. So that would be green. That would be so your green. yellow and blue mixed. And complementary okay. colors make your colors pop. When you put two complementary <laughs> colors together okay. your colors are going to pop. Okay. Now start off with some yellow Okay. and your complementary color of yellow would be the other two primary colors combined, which would be red and blue, so that would be Okay, got that. Purple. Purple. And I can start off with green and then I'll do my red. I'm and making a mess in our brand new yes, set over here. <laughs> about your pri primary colors okay. and then you would have blue and your complementary color of blue would be orange. Orange. So you can see if you don't mix those how you can form a nice layered are talking uh -huh. about your complementary yeah. colors, still tying it back to your life science, back uh -huh. to your colorful Caroline. You can talk about how two complementary colors, when you mix them, uh -huh. dull, but when you put them side by side, very vibrant. Very vibrant. Okay. So it's a great way to tie that in. Very great cool. Fun for the kids. More information on the Quirkles? Yes, you can find them on our website, quirkles.com, uh -huh. at IPA and Fiction Facts and Fun. It does. Very, very, very much pops. Yes. And those are our first.com too for more information.